Hi there, Mrs. Elkie here. I'm here with Ella. 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 Easter is just around the corner. And do you know what kind of flowers are super popular for Easter? What? Do you remember their name? They're called an Easter lily. What color are Easter lilies? White. They are white, yes. And today we decided to do an Easter lily painting. So let's show how beautiful our Easter lily paintings turned out. We used some colored paper to begin with and just some white and green and yellow paint to make these beautiful Easter lilies. So hopefully you can make some Easter lilies too. Uh, follow along with our painting video and we hope you have a wonderful Easter coming up as well. Thank you so much for watching. To make our Easter lilies today, we are going to be using some white, some light green, dark green, and some yellow, okay? All right, you ready, Ella? Mm -hmm. We're gonna start off by painting some bananas. You like bananas, right? Yeah. Okay, you ready to paint some bananas with me? Yeah, we're gonna make white bananas, okay? So I'm gonna dip my brush in some white and I'm gonna start off by going up in the corner up here and I'm going to make a line that curves like that. Make a curved line, good. Now, like I said, we're gonna make it look kinda like a little banana. So it's gonna be a curved, it's gonna be a little bit fatter in the middle and then it's gonna get skinnier at the end. Does that look like a banana to you? Kind of? Yeah, make yours a little bit longer. So it looks like a white banana. Okay, now I'm gonna do another one. It's gonna start right here at the bottom of my first one, and it's gonna curve down like this. Okay, can you make a line that curves down? And we're gonna make that one look like a banana too. So. I'm going to keep it pretty small at the end, but in the middle it's going to get a little bit fatter, like that. So skinny at the end, <laughs> fat in the middle, so it looks like a white banana. Does yours look like a white banana? See if you can make it a little bit fatter in the middle, but keep it skinny at the end. Yep. Then I'm going to do the same thing. This time I'm going to go up. So I'm going to curve it up like that. Good. And I want that to look like a banana too. So skinny at the end and fat at the middle. This is actually the perfect project for Ella because Ella, can you tell everyone what your favorite food is? Bananas. Yeah, make sure you say it nice and loud so they can hear you. Why do you like bananas, Ella? Because um, they're a fruit. Yeah, they're good for you, aren't they? Uh -huh. Yep. All right, I've got three bananas, you've got three bananas. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more. Next, I'm gonna make one that curves like this. It's gonna go down and around like that. So have it start there and kind of curve over to maybe this dot right there. Yep. We gotta make that a little bit fatter so it looks like a banana too. <laughs> All these white bananas. Mm -hmm. All right, now each of these I'm gonna make a little bit fatter, okay? I do want the ends to stay nice and small, but I want the middle of them to be a little bit fatter. So I'm gonna go ahead and fatten up some of these. Mm -hmm them a little bit wider so instead of bananas they look more like flower petals because we are trying to make a flower right so I'm gonna make them a little bit wider so it looks like a flower now here's a little bit wider all right we still need to add a couple more petals okay so I'm gonna do one that's gonna be poking up right through here. I'm just gonna stick a little petal and fill that in. Good. And I'm gonna do one that's kind of over here. 
stick a petal in there and fill that in. Good. All right. And I think that's all I'm going to do for now. We'll keep the rest just like they are. I'm going to leave the white on my brush, but I'm going to go ahead and dip it into some yellow to make the center part of the lily. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to add some lines like this. One, two, three. They kind of look like rice. Four, maybe I'll do about four or five. You can see it. They're just a couple different, different directions. And then I'm going to stop there and let those float, okay? Now I'm going to switch to my green, and I'm going to do dark green first. And I'm going to make a triangle that's really long and skinny. It's going to go in between these petals to make a long, skinny triangle. And I'm going to fill that in with green. That's turning to white. Yeah, that's okay. We, we're okay if it blends because it looks cool that way. Okay, so we got our triangle. That's kind of holding up the flower. This way, it looks like a pine tree. Yeah. A white pine. All right, then I'm going to make a line that goes down from that triangle like this. And it can go all the way to the bottom of my paper. Good. Now I'm going to add a couple leaves with the dark green still. And for the leaves, I'm just going to pick a spot like this, and then I'm going to bring it down to the stem like that to make a nice big leaf. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side too. Pick a spot kind of over here and bring it over to the stem to make a nice oh, leaf. Good. Maybe the same thing with the leaves. Can you make them a little bit fatter in the middle like that? <laughs> Okay, while we still have this green on our brush, I'm going to switch to some light green and just add a little bit of light green in here so that it adds some highlights like that. It's going to pop right there and then a little bit on the stem. I'm going to add some highlights. Good. And a little bit on the leaves too. I'm going to add some light green highlights. So I'll take that one and we're going to do some smaller brushes here. So I'll give you this one so tiny. and I'm going to use a smaller brush and we're going to use the smaller brushes to make the little yellow parts in the center of the flowers. So I'm going to dip my little brush in some yellow paint and I'm going to start right in the middle where all the bananas meet with each other, kind of right about there. And I'm going to make lines that go to my little pieces of rice like that. So it looks like they connect to the middle of my flower. And there you have a glorious Easter lily. Oh, so pretty. Now I don't think you needed rice on this one, so we're going to go ahead and paint that white again, okay? Because it's just in the middle of the flower. And the nice thing about this kind of paint is you can always just paint right over something. There you go. Beautiful lily. Awesome. Mommy, right. remember we were gonna cut we're gonna draw, I mean like color one too. Easy. Well yep, we can do some coloring too, but this is our, our painting lily, okay? Does this get you in the mood for Easter? because Easter has lots of lilies. All right, well, thank you for painting this with me. I really like how they turn out. They're so beautiful. Now can we draw? Yep, next time we will draw something, all right? I wanna do it Thank you now. so much for watching, and please subscribe to our channel. We hope to see more of you and enjoy doing some art.